Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. Here we will see how to find that valency of copper. Valency is the combining capacity of an atom of an element. To know valency, we should know the atomic number. Copper atomic number is 29. So from the atomic number, we can write that electronic configuration. So 2, 8, 18, 1. We have that another method of showing that electronic configuration by SPDF notation. Let us see that. Here you can see that order of filling orbitals. That means the orbitals are filled based on their energy. For example, after filling that 4s orbital, then only we can fill that 3d orbitals. So for copper, atomic number is 29. So that expected electronic configuration based on this filling order of filling orbital is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, then 4s2, then 3d9. This is the expected one. But in case of copper, it is different. The actual electronic configuration of copper is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. You can see the difference here 4s2, here 4s1, here 3d9, here 3d10. That means completely filled orbitals. The maximum number of electrons in d orbital is 10. So here in that configuration, we have that completely filled orbitals actually half filled and completely filled orbitals are stable so to give that extra stability the electron from s orbital shifted to d orbital due to that less difference in energy difference this shifting is possible so this makes that difference valency for copper so due to that we have that valency one or two this we called as variable valency. So the valency of copper is 1, 2. Thanks for watching.